One neat way of storing the wood while it's seasoning is to put it into a rack like this. The lengths have been cut to whatever size is easy to handle and they've also been split where they're larger or striped if they're smaller. This allows the wood to dry out and you haven't moved it very far from where you felled it so you've minimised the number of times you're handling the wood. The advantage is it's a convenient place to store the wood. The lengths you've stored it in are inconvenient for someone to walk off with so your wood will stay where you left it and you haven't chosen the size yet so if a customer comes to you and says well I want my wood 12 inches long or 15 inches long you can measure that out and cut it to exactly the length you need same if you're using it at home maybe you try one length one year and find that it wasn't so convenient the next year you can just go back and cut a different length you can leave it in this rack for as long as you need to to season and then you can come back maybe the following summer maybe a couple of years later and using a chainsaw with a bar long enough to reach through the whole stack you can cross cut from the top right the way to the bottom producing 20 30 40 logs at one go and if you've got your trailer part next to it it's very very quick to load it's important to remember when you're cutting it up that you need to put a ratchet strap round the logs otherwise the top ones will move around when the chainsaw is cutting them in between each cut you'll need to go back and tighten the ratchet strap again. And it's worth having several bearers underneath to make sure the stack doesn't move as you take lengths off it. A neat way of splitting logs is to stand astride them with steel toe cap boots on of course and swing the maul at the log. This way you can often send a split two three feet into the log. To get through the rest of it you can put in steel wedges and use a sledgehammer to drive them in. This way you can split the log while it's in a, in a six foot, eight foot, ten foot length and then add that to your stack. It's often quicker to actually split the wood at this length rather than cross cutting it into small lengths first and then splitting it.